What's up everybody, this is GX Mods and for this video we're going to unbox the replica of the perfect grade unicorn perfectibility from Devon Model. This big monster just arrived 5 days ago and I'm still waiting for my SF MGX to arrive as well. But anyways, I'm here to announce that if I get 1000 subscriber, I'll be giving away 2 of my pre-ordered full mechanic, Ariel. So if you're new to the channel and want to have the chance of getting a free 100 full mechanic aerial, hit that subscribe button right now. This video is not sponsored but all my subscribers have the chance to get this new model so long as they're subscribed at least 90 days ago before June 2023 arrived. I'll leave the requirements here. Subscribe now and help the channel grow for more future giveaways to come. Now this announcement is done, let's go back to unboxing the perfect grade unicorn perfectibility. All I can say is that its box is surprisingly big. What a good way to start your January, don't you agree? So for this knockoff, there is two boxes, which is box A and box B. Alright, now let's open box A first and let's see what goodies Daban has given us for the first month of 2023. And the first thing I've noticed is this blue coated cycle frame. Of course, we also have a clear frosted blue cycle frame for you to choose, but I won't be using a coated inner frame. Why? Well, that because lead lights won't go through it. Next one is black frame, next one is coated, and next one is also coated. We have this cover for the battery. And we have another black frame right here. It's kind of shiny, very attractive. And we also have the frames for the head right here with the feet fin inside. And we have this shoe with clear parts. This is a clear green for the eyes. Another clean white frame right here. This is awesome. Very clean looking white frames. We also have this navy blue colored frames. Another black injected frame right here, which is very shiny. And thank you for the freebies once again. I've got three of these now from freebies, but thanks anyway. Here we got the beam saber effect and the hands frame inside. And now we got the clear blue once again, clear blue psycho frames. Very awesome. So that's about every color I've seen so far. A total of four to six color separation if you use the painted one. And we have the stand right here, very big stand right there. And let's take a look at the inners cycle frame for this unit clear crystal glass looking inner frame right there for the box a i've seen no issues at all there's no missing parts and no defects in the injections so that's very good because in this part of the video i'm just checking if everything is complete <music> That's about every frame that we'll see inside the box A. Now let's take a look at the magazine, I mean the instruction of uh, this box. It's very thick as you can see here, very detailed and there's actually 82 pages. Holy! Woo. Anyways, let's take a look at the box B now and I'll put everything in the box A again. All right, now that's out of the way, let's open up the box B. And before I do that, I just want to make a quick comparison for the size between the first PG of Daban right here. At first, I thought that those boxes are just the same size, but when I compare them, as you can see here, the first PG release of Daban Unicorn is nothing compared to these two boxes. Let me just zoom that in for you. Yep, now moving on, let's put them out of the way and then open up the box. Same procedure with the uh, box A, we're gonna check every plastic, make sure that there's no missing parts. And uh, this is the red frame for the missiles or the weapons for the back. Some coated parts for the shield as well is available here in the box B. We have this one and the same as on the box A, the one that we saw before, uh, this one is painted but the one on the box A is clear, green. Now the next one is this coated weapon effects. I'm not gonna use that. And we got some white parts here for the tail and some other parts for the shield as well. There's clear blue and then this is the other frame for the shield. Yeah, so pretty much everything for the weaponry is on the box B as you can see right here. While I check everything, I'm just gonna let you look around. For the back connection, same as on the Fenex, we have this, and imagine how big this is once it's built. It's very easy to notice that everything in a box B is all for weaponry. As you can see right here, this is for the tank, I believe. And we have some black parts as well. And I've noticed multiple times while I'm looking at the black frames, 
it's more like a gunmetal injections right here as you can see there's marks of gunmetal injections that uh, didn't go well it actually looks awesome as you can see and we also got frosted clear blue weapon effects right here it's very beautiful i like the color on that one but i'm gonna use the coated version for the uh, wing part but anyways this one is for the cannon the, we the weaponry for the cannon at the back and this part is for the shield as well very nice yep for the black frames they really look like uh, gunmetal last frame is for the back this is how big this is and imagine how big it is once it's completed right and what's great is that this unit also has this massive massive water slide decals this is how big it is and there's a wire as well i don't know what this is for but it's here so anyways these are the choice that you have it's entirely up to you if you're gonna choose the painted or the clear parts but anyways that's about everything that you need to expect now i'm ending this video right here but don't forget the upcoming giveaways there's no harm on trying you got nothing to lose so subscribe as early as now but if i'm not true to my words i'm gonna kick a baby out of the outer space I'm serious, so thank you so much for watching, see you on the next video, peace!